Hello, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you guys how to create a realistic reflection in After Effects. Alright, let's get to it. Alright, so here I have a, a video of a train passing by. And as you can see, there's water ripples coming from this side when the ducks come out. All this over here. And to reflect this, so it's just kind of like the way the train looks. It's hard to do that. See how the train is moving with the ripples? Well, if I want to do this with the moon, it's, it's not going to be easy. So, all right, so first thing we're going to do is place the object you want to reflect. Go ahead and pre-compose it. Make sure you move the attributes here. Check this. Call it moon. Okay, once you pre-compose it, go ahead and head over to the RGB VFX reflection and drop it on that layer. You should see this on the bottom. If you don't pre-compose it, it's going to be on the top here and the reflection is going to be probably cut off. So make sure you pre-compose it. All right. So let's say we want to place it right there. So you can see how the ripples interact with that. So, okay, we're going to head over to the pre uh, controls and, you know, you can lower the opacity of it, the opacity of the reflection, but just for, for this tutorial, I'm going to leave it so you can see it very well. The softness is just adding a small blur to it. So you can see it blurs. As you add more softness, the aspect is just the way it blurs out. Just change the way the the way it's blurred. The fade start is sort of like when you add a gradient. It's gonna start off faded and then it's gonna get stronger towards the end. The fade length is when you want it to start fading. The scale reflection, you know, you can move it. Okay, let's say you wanted the reflection to re reflect over here, but you can't move the reflection because if you move this, it moves with the uh, with the source. Okay, so what you could do is go over here on offset reflection and you can move the axis points to a different location. And that way it reflects just like that. And when you move it, it moves together with it. Okay. Something to add it is the reflection band, which it adds another other one of these and the way you can use that it's let's say sometimes you know reflections I see it mostly on shadows where let's say you're standing against a wall and you know the reflection of your legs might might kind of go diagonally like that and then you're straight so that's how you bend the reflection to all right let me show you how um, So let's say you want this part to be, just the bottom part to be banded. So something like that, you know, where let's say you need that to be straight and it's just bended. So it bends the reflection like that. So it looks, depending on your environment and your surroundings too, you're going to mostly need this reflection band to make it more realistic. But for this, we don't need it. But you get the idea. And 
and then you can also change the blandness blend mode and all right so so we're going to displace it with the train and just start moving the horizontal displacement sort of like that and the vertical it's a little bit over there I'm going to move the offset a little bit up. It's right there. So there you have it. And the more you tweak it out, it's going to look more like the way you want it. That's just to show you how it interacts with the background. You can also smooth it out a little bit so it's not too sharp. Kind of looks more like water. And that's how you, you can also add motion blur and, and really create a very realistic moon reflection using this plugin. All right, well, I hope that helped and if it did, let me know in the comments. Go ahead and subscribe if you like this kind of videos.